Hey there Brewcrafters, my name is Mark from Brewcrafter.com. Today I'm going to examine the differences in the total dissolved solids uh, from our tap water, from my old reverse osmosis system, which you can see here behind me mounted in the garage, and from our new RCC7 reverse osmosis system, which I recently installed under the kitchen sink in our kitchen, which is where most kitchen sinks are. First, I'm gonna draw a little sample from the old reverse osmosis system here. Gather up some water. Okay, now I'm gonna gather a sample of straight tap water. Tap water, smells bad. And finally, I'm gonna gather a sample of the new uh, reverse osmosis water using the uh, sink top dispenser. So, we've got plain tap water, my old RO system, and the new RO system. I recently ordered this uh, quality meter kit, or water quality meter kit. It comes with a, a pH meter and a TDS meter, TDS being total dissolved solids. This one is the plain tap water, 604 parts per million. The EPA recommends drinking water be under 500. Anything over 1,000 is considered unsafe for human consumption. So while yes, this is uh, not going to kill me, it certainly smells and tastes bad, and I don't want to use it for my brewing water. Now let's try the old reverse osmosis system. Much better. A 112. It seems to be holding pretty steady. So that's a big improvement, but not awesome, actually. And now we're looking at a sample of the brand new reverse osmosis system, and we're all the way down at 32. I'm going to use that for my brewing water for sure.